Hi everyone, I just wanted to make a short little video showing you the uh, new bus station in Santiago. Uh, as you know, it has moved. It used to be up by the uh, Shunta the, on the uh, upper side of town, uh, just the opposite direction from the train station. Now it actually is located next to the train station, making it easier for you to make a transfer uh, change if you come in with a train or come in with a bus, it's easier to get the train and it's also easier to get uh, to the airport to and from the airport from the from the bus station because of, there's of course airport buses going all the time so um, imagine you wanted to go for example just to uh, give you an idea of location this is the uh, Obradoira Square uh, imagine you wanted to walk down uh, to the new trains to the new bus station next to the train station this is Plaza Galicia uh, you would walk down as you had walked before bef to get to the train station and then once you get down here um, I'll show you in the video. I made a little video as well um, You'll you'll arrive at the top where I see at the end there and you cross the street uh, And walk down this sidewalk and then across this uh, new bridge that they've built as a part of the new uh, bus station uh, so as you can see this bridge what it does it actually takes you across the railroad tracks across the uh, train station and on the other side we go down to mm, what is the new bus station the new construction if you come with the train you can come up with this elevator uh, and then uh, go up to the bridge uh, that way and then we'll just walk across and you can see there's some pilgrims here actually this was recorded a few uh, a few weeks ago actually um, but uh, uh, it's a nice little walk across and it has, has a roof and everything you could look down and you could see the train tracks below uh, the train station hasn't been changed at all uh, there's talk about changing the train and doing some work on the train station as well because we're soon getting the high-speed train connection to Madrid and related to that, I think they need to do some work for the new trains to be able to come in at the 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 height of the um, the uh, waiting area it needs to be corrected. I think I, so there's some work going to be done on the train station as well. Of course, it's not going to move change location at all. So we're on the other side. We're going down the stairs, and you could see there's um, there is. Uh, a little waiting area there to the right at the at the bottom there to your right there's a I think they're doing some work on the garden there trying to make it uh, a little bit of a green area now if you know this Santiago you know that now we're actually close to where Corte Inglés is so if you want to go to Corte Inglés for example there's a shop that's a shopping mall um, or a shopping center you go down those stairs and that's also the way you get to the taxi stop now down those stairs that you saw there go to this uh, taxi shop uh, taxi uh, queuing area I took a left I walked into the um, bus station and it what it is it's just a long corridor really and we have some screens information screens here the first screens are uh, will show you bus departure information uh, what company it is what time it leaves what track it is waiting downstairs and where's what's the end destination for the bus then you have uh, uh, arrival information from the airport. What's the status of the various airplanes at the airport? Then you have um, arrival information regarding um, trains from the train station. Let's continue in. There's a little waiting area here with some benches. Um, and then the stairs to the right there is where you go down to the actual the buses now i didn't realize this when i walked past but do you see that door to the left there's a little luggage sign over the door uh, i realized this afterwards that's where the luggage storage area is they have luggage um little cubicle lug uh, lockers so you could leave luggage there and the bus station is open i think they open at 8 30 in the morning and they close about 10 so it's open pretty much all day for you to come and, and come and go and take out your luggage. It's not open in the middle of the night. So if that's an issue, that may be a problem. That might be a problem. But otherwise, uh, you could. Uh, these are really solid, like standard train station lockers. 
next to the luggage room, there's a little I see the I on the sc um, uh, information office, just next to the uh, left luggage uh, office. And then after that, you have the uh, ticket counters for the various bus companies. You have Mon Bus, you see there, Mon Bush, and then you have Alsa. That's the last window there. And you can, as you can see there, there's an Alsa machine as well. Uh, it looks like you can get uh, your tickets on the machine as well. Um, that's this one. And then, of course, you look across to the train station. Uh, that, as I mentioned, hasn't been touched, but it's it's there, and that's the bridge we just walked across. You could see it there. So let's move into the. Uh, here's another stairs down to your left, going down to the various buses. There's another waiting area out towards. Uh, that actually have a nice little balcony there with a nice view, where you could see over to the area that I mentioned above uh, before, where uh, we have the Corte Inglés. And you can also see the uh, city of culture, Ciudad de Cultura, up at the end there. I'm going to try and zoom in there. So that's the city of culture where we have uh, uh, some museums and a uh, big library. So Corte Inglés at the end there, for those wanting to go shopping before the bus leaves. And then uh, the taxi waiting area is down there as well. So before I finish, just wanted to walk down to show you what it looks like downstairs, which is where the area where the buses are uh, actually located. So you'll probably come into the station, look at the information screen, find out uh, what company your bus is with if you don't know the company yet. Go to the ticket office, get their ticket, and then mm, look at the screens again to make sure what uh, track your bus is coming in on. So I guess a little bit before the bus is supposed to come in, you'll just go down here and go out and you'll see the there's a one bus waiting there. He's waiting on number 11. Uh, so this is where you find the various buses. There's an Alsa bus there at the end uh, waiting to leave. Um, but uh, you'll get the ticket up at the ticket counter in advance. And here's another departure screen for the buses. So the bus at number 11, the Mon bus, we just saw was going to Sebreiro. So that's probably pilgrims waiting there outside. And this is the Alsa bus is waiting at number, what, 17, is it? 18. Yeah. So anyway, that's the bus station. Uh, hope this was useful. Stay safe. Ciao.